Hello, kids. Hope you're all doing great. Today, we will learn about fractions. Understanding fractions is as easy as one, two, three. Just watch this video and you'll be using fractions with ease. Let's do some counting. How many hexagons are here? One, two, three, four, five, and six, correct? Well, this is easy to count it, right? But what if there was just part of a hexagon? How would we count it? We'll use fractions. Fractions are for counting a part of something. Let's break the hexagon into six equal pieces. What if we just had one of the pieces? That would be one piece out of six pieces, right? Here's how we write it. One sixth. One over six. The top number is called the numerator and the bottom number is called the denominator. Wouldn't the denominator be a great name for an Arnold Schwarzenegger movie? Let's do some more counting. Pizza is usually divided into eight slices. That means that in a fraction, the denominator would be eight. If you normally eat one slice of pizza, then one would be the numerator, and that means that you eat one-eighth of a pizza. If you normally eat two slices of pizza, then two would be the numerator. The denominator would still be eight, since there are always eight slices of pizza. That would mean that you eat two-eighths of a pizza. Let's try another example. This pie is divided into six pieces, and you eat four pieces of it. If there were six pieces of pie and you eat four, what is the denominator of your fraction? That's right, six. What is the numerator? Yup, it's four. That means you ate four-sixths of the pie. Let's try one more example. If you and your friend have one donut to share, then you will cut it into two pieces. If there are two pieces of donut and you eat one, what is the numerator of your fraction? That's right, the numerator is one. What is the denominator? Right again, it's two. When the fraction is one over two, we call that a half. I hope you learned something new today. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel. Bye for now.